Lime Green Noita Wizard. Welcome to Noita Wizard. A game about dying as a wizard, actually. And that's really about all I can tell that it's about. I don't think there's any lore. I don't think there's anything in it. I think it's just about getting horribly killed. I think it's a game that teaches you the futility of effort. The harder you try, the more disappointing things generally tend to be. Fuck it, we're going to go straight for the collapse mine. You know, I'm going to get the tablet first. Then we're going to go straight for the collapse mine. We need it for spellcrafting. Today, we're going to be a uh, we're going to be an anvil boy, as much in in as much a capacity as we can be. I'm going to get rid of this pheromone potion because I hate it, and we're going to get some water. So, here we are, back with Noita Wizard. I've disabled the health pickup because somebody was very concerned in the comment section yesterday about my analytics. Uh, particularly, they said that the modded Noita series generally don't tend to do well. Um, and to be honest, I was very concerned about the analytics uh, shortly having finished a 140-part Skyrim series in the year 2021. They do raise a good point that analytics come first. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, here we are. Noita Wizard. Uh, I disabled the health pickup. Actually, before I saw that comment. Um, funnily enough, analytics I don't really care about on this channel. This is my fun channel. Uh, where I do whatever the hell I want. You can't, you can't bog yourself down with constant thoughts of analytics. Otherwise, you kill the only thing that is enjoyable about this platform. And that's the, uh, the freeform nature of it. You can do literally whatever you like on YouTube. Whether or not somebody watches is an entirely separate thing. I think I think people over. I, have I talked about this before? I'm in a I'm in a Discord group with a bunch of other YouTubers. Um, some of them you will absolutely have heard of. Some of them maybe not. But I'm not going to name any of them for obvious reasons. But uh, like I I, I kind of keep a quiet eye on it. I don't really get involved. I've, I've very, i very I think I've sent maybe like two messages in the months that I've been in there. For me, I find it it drains a lot of fun out of out of what you're doing. If you spend every waking moment poring over analytics, thumbnails, uh, stuff like that, particularly if you spend all these hours analyzing it so carefully and, and trying to work out, you know, what works, what is best, what works for this guy, what works for that guy, you know, what what is the most successful way to approach this? If it then doesn't work, it's got to be terribly depressing. I don't know. I don't trend chase or anything like that i just do whatever i feel like and i i think hopefully that translates was this wand again yeah just crappy bubble wand i'll do this but i would find that just horribly uh, just a massive downer if i spent hours editing a thumbnail or hours on a on a particular aspect of a video editing for for memes i only edit for brevity i never edit for content and I just think there's an extent where you can overanalyze it. I, I really do think the YouTubers I, all, I, I enjoy all have the same thing going for them in that they either present information, right? That the whole point of it is, you know, writing a script or whatever, presenting it, that's it, that's the content, or it's just people enjoying themselves. And I think particularly with, with gaming YouTube, that if you're spending longer deciding the tags, the title, the thumbnail for a video, then you are playing the game. It comes across in the content. It, it seems artificial. You can't fake a genuine enjoyment of something. I think. Well, I mean, you can because you're watching this. <laughs> but I think it really does come across. And I, I, it, it genuinely stresses me out just reading the chat that they have sometimes. Because they're all going over these finest points of data. And well, no, obviously not all of them. And again, I'm not saying that if this works for them, that's that's great. I'm glad they found something that works. For me personally, I know it won't. And I can only speak from my own perspective. But to, to, to fawn over that much data and that much information and the constant balancing of algorithm versus content. And it's like... That at the end of the day, you, you've reduced this to what it is. Purely a numbers game. I don't think that's enjoyable. The, the people that watch your content are people, ultimately. Not just numbers. Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. You're going to say a joke that's going to offend some people. Other people are going to like the fact that you've said it. 
who you choose to play through is entirely obviously dependent on the content that you're putting out. You got to read the room. But just reading everything as numbers is it's never going to work. It's never going to work. Wow. Here we are. The collapsed mines. That was fast. And that's why, honestly, that's why I stopped doing polls. I used to do polls quite a lot on the main channel. I used to poll the patrons. Uh, but it didn't matter because, in, in theory, according to the numbers, right? If I poll a bunch of people, I say, what do you want to see next? And 60% of people say, I want to see this content. And then I do that content. 40% of people are disappointed, right? If I don't give them the choice, they don't know what A, they've missed out on. But more importantly, if you just do what you want to do, people will probably enjoy it anyway. Unless you're not... I, I know there are a lot of YouTube channels. I don't know if I'd call myself a personality-driven YouTube channel. I suppose so. But there are a lot of YouTube channels that don't do that. They just kind of... They are the, the kind of trend chaser channels, you know? Big game comes out. Let's do a thing on this, this particular game. Oh, there's our wand. He's looking for you. And if that works for them, again, like, fantastic. Great. But for me personally, I don't... I don't think I could feign the, 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 the genuine interest in something like that. You know, it'd be very, very jarring if I were to suddenly do, ah, oh, the new Call of Duty game's out. Let's do, let's do something on that. Or not even that. Maybe something even closer to my wheelhouse. Like, for example, uh, Hearts of Iron. When I, when I used to do Crusader Kings 2... Twice a day. Uh, Pyrox were like, hey, do you want to do a sponsored campaign for Hearts of Iron? And to be honest, I was kind of like, I do because I want to build up a portfolio of sponsored content. But simultaneously, I also have absolutely no interest in Hearts of Iron. I've never even played the game before and they were willing to sponsor me. I think they just did it because I'd worked with Pyrox before on Crusader Kings. And evidently, my audience at that point were predominantly a, a Paradox-based audience. But I ended up just not taking it because... Even though it probably would have performed well. There's only so many times you can do that before... What's the best way to describe it? Before... I think people stop watching for... For you. And you. I, I think that's the opposite of really what you want to try and achieve. Because the only thing you've got that's marketable is you. Games come and go. Look at Cyberpunk. It was the biggest thing in the world for five minutes, and now nobody gives a shit. And if you threw your entire weight behind a Cyberpunk campaign, I said, for example, people do entire sponsored campaigns. Uh, madness. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave Holy Mountain. Because what have you got when that sponsored campaign's over? Wow. Uh, I'm really, uh, really give me a clear indication of what you want me to do here. Nice. No, <laughs> I think I'm alright, actually. I think I'm just going to take the fucking chain bolt and maybe the double cast. And I think I'm going to go on my merry way. Uh, let's throw that in there. Now, what have we got then? Double gold per nugget. <sighs> you know what? That alone is good enough for me to take, I think. It's pretty weak. I think it's pretty low tier. But it means that we can go... As long as we do alright on this floor, we can go hard on it. I'm alright with that. Wow, the cooldown on this wand is pathetic. That was really, really terrible. And I think in the long term as well. I mean, especially in the long term. Sure, in the short term, you might want to turn a quick $200 or whatever doing a sponsored campaign for... Shadow Legends Arena. Or alternatively, you could just not do that and bite the bullet and try and build up you as a person. Which I think just works better. I don't think YouTube is going to always be that way. And I certainly think we're on the tail end of that still being possible. I'm very fortunate to have been where I'm at by the time I got there. But that would, that would always be advice to... I, I should really... Come into these with a, with a topic in mind. Because the topic generally just comes to me as we're going through it anyway. I think that will be my advice to any new YouTuber. Just just be you. Or if you're not you, 
Invent a person to be, because that works for people. Don't allow the content to do the heavy lifting. Otherwise, when the content's gone, you've got nothing. You know? That's kind of why I want to move away from Rimod, but Rimod is also a, a malleable... I mean, it's a sandbox by definition. It's very malleable. And I think... It's a, it's one, it's a, it's a very good game for being, for allowing you to kind of shine through. Same thing with Crusader Kings, right? Any, any sort of, not necessarily role-playing game, because obviously Rimworld isn't a role-playing game, but any game where you can inject a bit of personality into it's pretty good. But then you also don't want to go too far and go down the meme route. Haha, <laughs> let's start a cannibal drug farm. It's like, yeah, that might do well, but again, it's, it's, the content, not the person at that point. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, uh, more saw blades. Or oh, really, you shouldn't have. I would prefer that to this for only getting fireball orbit because I quite like fireball orbit. Do you think we could drop a bomb here and get some backspin on it and blow this open? Yes. To answer your question, yes, we can. Where's the anvil? Give me the friggin' anvil. To reiterate, really glad we um, use the health container mod. Somebody in the comments yesterday was like, the damage is already done. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Where would we be without those health containers, eh? <laughs> I thought I would bait him out there, jump at the last second, throw off his aim. The ones we've got really are just god awful this time, aren't they? They really are just complete dog shit. And I hate them. And uh, I will take any any wand other than what we've got. Thank God we got something like um Thank you. Thank God we got something like Chain Bolt though. Something a bit more mindless. Speaking of mindless, guess what you're about to be my friend? You can't touch me. Ultra Instinct. You will never get this. 1,300. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I will admit, the greed, though it was a fairly, not necessarily a fairly weak perk, but a, a fairly unimpactful perk, because when you're... I, I, honestly, I don't think you really need it. Because if you just clear a, gold, uh, a floor out anyway, you end up with more gold than you're most likely going to spend at the shop. Because the shops always have shit in. It's a modern economy. They never have anything you want. It's all just marketing. Well, didn't come out of the house nearly with a spark bolt with trigger, but now that you mention it, could do with one. How do we get up there? I think there is a way up there. This is also bombs, isn't it? The blue wand. Yeah. Ooh. Double shot fireball orbit. I mean, like, even shit, even quad shot fireball orbit. You're covering such a large area with projectiles. You probably couldn't really go wrong, eh? Oh! Sorry about the lag there. Noisa Wizard is a very graphically intensive game. My 3090 can barely handle it. <laughs> I really like building PCs. I wish I, I wish I had an excuse to build more of them. I like to think I build quite nice PCs. Definitely above average. Like Elise's PC. It's actually a fucking work of art, I'll be honest with you. I know a lot of people who build PCs who probably wouldn't have touched that case that I bought because it just had... Well, that I bought for her. Because it had absolutely no cable management whatsoever. And I almost regretted buying it. But now that it's done, it is quite literally a work of art. My PC is, uh, is an art installation. It's bright, it's garish, it's horrible. I was thinking, actually, because mine right now I've just got set to pure RGB. I wanted the Vaporwave theme, pinks, blues, whites, which is specifically why I chose that case. The problem is the motherboard doesn't have, like, a pink and white setting, which is just... Uh, sorry, pink and blue setting, which is just fucking ridiculous. And I can't get them all to sync up in a way I like. I was thinking of just going black and white with it instead. Because that would still look very visually striking. I might try that. I'll see how it looks. Assuming I remember to do it after this. 
That was completely unnecessary, but I thought I'd go for a... <laughs> I thought I'd go for an unnecessary kill. What's that fucking anvil? I have a theory that those anvils don't spawn in as part of the level spawn. I think they spawn in after the fact. So to find the anvil, you probably want to backtrack. That's my, that's my working theory anyway. I have a feeling they don't spawn in. Hey? Why was there a cast on one I only bloody fired? Ow. The first proper damage we've taken. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're back at the top of the map again. How did we get over here? Oh, if we ran past... We must have ran past the uh, the start point, but past the midpoint of the level. What is that? It's the one I've swapped out. Yeah. I need more excuses to build them. Like, how big a YouTuber do you have to be before you can start building people bespoke PCs? And it's, like, more impressive because I've built it. I think that's still, like, very low tier. I think anybody would really be interested in that. Well, I think we can get that. We just have to finesse it a little bit. Eventually, we'll get this. Trust me. There you go. See? Come on. Yes, catch fire. Go, 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 go. Yes, there you go. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was going for that gold. Uh, no. Thank you. Have a great day. No, thank you. I won't be taking that today. 135 max health is pretty pathetic, but hey, here we are. Right, let's go this way a little bit more. Oh, there's something down there. The bottom of this pile of coal. What is that? Oh, it's a treasure chest. Great. Good news. Those always have nice things in. Or they're thoroughly disappointing. No middle ground. Careful. Right, let's go to like... How are we going to do this? We could stand below and arc it up the side, but I don't know if the physics are that good in this game. Oh, they really are. Wow. Thank you. Mimic? Oh! Hello. Firecrackers. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, chain spell. Wow, that sounds incredibly good. Energy orb with trigger. Crystal, dormant crystal with trigger. Dormant crystal with trigger. I don't even know what that could be. Well, we'll give it a test. We've got 37 health remaining, but we do also have 2,064 gold, which is insane. I translated that to American. Did you hear me? Sorry, 2,064 gold. You, you're not allowed to say in British English just 2,064. It's very illegal. Definitely got marked down in an English language exam if you did that. Fuck off. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I find myself using American phrases when I'm recording, but exclusively only when I'm recording. Not for any particular reason, just because it's like... It's weird to say. It's just the thing you do on the internet, isn't it, really? Like, especially over Discord. Just saying American words. Fungal caverns. We never come in the fungal caverns. There's a smell of gas in here. Nothing gets past you, Noiter Wizard. I don't like this Terminator. You can fuck off. Let me kill it from a distance. Oh, I think it's also stuck. No, it's really not stuck. Why is it not firing? Fuck! This is a problem. Get me out! <laughs> Never a doubt in my mind. Okay, you guys heard a holy mountain? Oh no. Yeah, get out. <gasps> it's a health upgrade. Do I want to risk it? Nice. No! They almost took me. Gods be damned. I want this health upgrade. Let's get it fast. Okay, okay. Give me that. Don't do it. <laughs> Here we are. Holy mountain. There was never a doubt in my mind there. Okay, then. Uh, we do have double, potentially. Uh, still terrible ones. Still haven't found an anvil, but spells cast two. What can we do with you, then? We could do that into... 
Spells cast to Firebolt. Uh, into this, into this, into this with a double. Let's do that. Into that. And then those can trigger two spells. And that might be impressive or it might be horrible. The mana usage on that is vile. Um, no, no, no. I want to cast those two simultaneously. One's triggering the other. No, no, no. I don't like that. I don't think you understand. That's triggering that, which is triggering that, because it's making a block, and then that's triggering. No, 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 no. I want to go... If we do that, we'll fire both simultaneously. No. You son of a bitch. What just magic bolts, huh? They're fancy. I like those. Show me about the recharge time on the wand. Um, it's a shame we haven't found any good ones. I could just fuck with that, to be honest with you. Uh, what about chain spell on that? No mana. Ah, uh, uh, I mean, look, that's better. Let's just do that. No, that actually works pretty well. The recharge time on it's dog shit, but that's not that's not bad at all. Um. What if we do energy orb into... Oh, we can buy... Uh, we did buy spark bolt with trigger. What if we just do spark bolt with trigger into that? No, no, no. I want to do that. Put that thing on a chain. Then we're only using spark bolt mana. Yeah, I like that. I think that works. Disc spells. I hate them. Die forever. I will never trust you again. Energy sphere. Uh, no. Be gone. What else do we like about this? Uh, well. <laughs> no. Firecrackers. I don't know how that works. We need to test that out. All right, let's drop these over here. We've got some interesting things to potentially craft with. Nothing of value has been found, though. Let's swap those out. How does that work? Does it cost firecrackers? When it disappears. What, um, what do firecrackers even do? I mean, I know what firecrackers do. What I mean by that is, whatever. Unlimited spells. Hey, we can fuck with that. Stronger hearts. Hearts bestow more maximum health. Oh, those are both quite good. Um, It is it is tricky. I think for survivability, though, we go stronger hearts. Look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Ooh. Lay down your weapons, sniper. It's not too late for my mercy. It was. <laughs> it, it really was. Where did that blood come from? You see that? What the, what the fuck was that there? Do you see that? Apply that back. I'm not going to apply it back. Whoa, what is going on down here? Oh, hello. Runestone of edges. Runestone of edging. Thank you. How generous. Now, I want to find the anvil. I've always found the anvil quite easy to find. What a strange sentence. On Frosty Floor. Because I think Frosty Floor is more cavernous. Bizarrely cavernous, too. Suspiciously cavernous. Makes me think there might be some sort of hidden boss that I've yet to find. The gods are impressed with me. What does that mean? Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, gods. The gods are impressed with me. What are they talking about? <laughs> ah, what have, have I done anything particularly impressive, gods? Um. Oh, look at the recharge time. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Fuck off. The gods are impressed with you. Hmm. Honestly, that's kind of concerning more than anything else. Because the gods always seem to be very pissed. The fact that I've done something to please them. I don't know. That makes me a good guy. What a complete state. This place is overrun with rats. I don't know if rats like living in the cold. I think that's kind of the opposite. Do rats hibernate? There's certain types of mice do, but I don't think, I don't think rats do, do they? Okay, we got another wand. Finally, some bloody wands. Oh, frozen solid. <laughs> Let's be careful. I want to go on a big hunt for maximum hearts. 
I think I'd be remiss to not do Oh, well, that's also really, really good. That's better than basically everything else we've got. French Bender with you. And these bolts obviously also go through terrain. Okay. You want to watch yourself. I'm I'm apparently impressive to the gods. Maybe that's talking about the YouTube comment section. Oh, here's shotguns. There's a giant cavern down here filled with war. Ah! Good shot. Can't be angry. Oh, it's him. Fuck off. Guy shot a shot behind me, pushed me forward into the man who blows up. Unbelievable. That was scummy as all fuck. The gods are impressed with me. They've decided. I need to go and look Google. That not what that means. The gods are impressed. Noiter. Just means you've got a projectile's lifetime component to minus one, so it won't despawn from timing out. It doesn't do anything beyond the message. The gods are afraid is similar. Deal over one million in one hit. What? How the hell did I get a lifetime component on a projectile to minus one? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I definitely did not do that. The gods are losing their mind. The gods are high as hell would be a more appropriate message, I think. Ridiculous noited gods. They have no idea what they're talking about. The gods are angered. It wasn't even fucking me. Some gods. Maybe they're not like the, you know, the judo Christian Omniscient, all-knowing god. Maybe they're just like a... Just like a, a, a regular, regular boring old killable god. I don't know much about Finnish mythology. I uh, brought this up before. I don't know if the gods are that killable. Like Uko, who has a hammer. Wow, I'd like that one, if that's okay. Sir, put that down. You're going to hurt someone. Probably me. There's, um... There's Sampo. I know that. That's the, uh... That's the thing that makes gold. Uh, well, there's a guy with a hammer, isn't there, too? A crafter with a hammer. I don't know his name. Um... Uh... What was it? There's a man who... Again, it's it's basically all from Amorphous. This guy made a, a a wife out of um oh out of uh, silver or gold. I don't remember. What's the name of the uh what is it the 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 Kelvala? something like that? Again, I don't remember. Is the is the kind of book of epics. Well, that's, as, that's as far as it goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Noiser. I don't know your history. I'm very ignorant. Maybe we should start throwing the tablet more. I hope it doesn't crack eventually. I assume it wouldn't, but you never know. This game has a funny sense of humor. As evidenced by that last floor. What did that do? Uh, circular shielding. Ooh. That's going on the anvil. If I ever find the friggin' thing again. Bonk. I hope, I mean, that last run pretty much emphasized also why I bothered disabling the hearts, because a fucking bloody heart pickup wouldn't have saved us there. No amount of heart pickups, because that guy just instantly blew us to pieces. So, I mean, there was very little to be done in that situation, eh? Ooh. Watch out for the stinky liquid. I'm going to take the slimy potion. Just in case we find an anvil. Maybe we want to throw something on it that isn't a wand. But to be honest, at this point, I'm just going to mash all the wands together. See if we ever find it. I want to do one hyper overpowered Noiter run. We just take all the mods from the workshop. All the ridiculous mods. Mini maps, health upgrades, spell effects. You name it. We just go all in and see what happens. Uh, yes, I will swap that for that. Thank you. I think that could be fun for a one-off. Unlimited power noiter. What have we got up here? Wand? Hey, it's a treasury chest. We can probably get in there now. Uh, you know, let's go that way. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think we'll let that burn out. And then we go from the top. I have, I have, I have high hopes for this run. I have high hopes. I think this would be a great time. You just gotta believe. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go. What is it? Ah, oh, it's spells. I love spells. It's like the advanced spitter bolt, right? Large spitter bolt? With timer? I, I feel like with timer spells are, um... The least useful. I don't know. I, I, I guess what you could do with that is the projectile lifespan. Um... Uh, with, with, with piercing. If you get the constant home towards. You remember how we got... Well, for those of you who watched the Spell Lab episode anyway. How we got up to a million damage with Spell Lab. That was with a um, rotate towards enemy shot. That would be very, very good for that, I suppose. Because then it will linger. And then when it pops, it could spawn another spell that might have the same thing. Or at least just do some damage. You know, big explosion or whatever. Yeah, I suppose combining it with an explosion is a fair point. Right, we're going to head towards the collapsed mine. Doing pretty good. Did we pick up a health upgrade? Yeah, 125. We did. Our health looks kind of deceptively low just going by the bar. Right, so we've got a gold glowy back there. We've got gold, gold glowy down here. I come, cannot believe for a second that in this world, the shotgun shells bounce off the ceiling. Ow. Ah, oh, toxic gas. Boring. That's not even a fun death. This fucking game. <laughs> ah, and that, that's my problem with it. That first fucking run that we had was great. Took like 10 damage per floor. The ones were starting to get there a little bit. Oh, that's just bullshit. The ones were starting to get there a little bit. You know, things were going fine. Then you pushed off a ledge. You fall into a guy who stuns you. You can't move. You're dead. And that's 20 minutes of my life. I'm never getting back. It's a little bullshit, you know? Just a little little silly. And and, and this, is, this is why I, I'm sometimes very apprehensive to do the runs that take a long time. I don't disagree that spending the longest time possible on each floor... And being as cautious as possible on each floor maximizes victory chance. Of course it does. That's how video games work. Conversely, it does feel a little bit bitter when you die to some complete bullshit and you have very little time. Oh, a spell refresher. Thank you. I will take my bombs back. Oh, that last run, we had like 500 gold. It's going to take us ages to get up to that amount again. And then it's straight over to the collapsed mines. Fuck the rest of this floor. I hate you. Didn't even get the tablet. I don't care. Beyond it. I'm above it, actually. On the plus side, we are missing out on potentially wand crafting, but apparently the fucking anvils disappeared off the face of the earth, so. <laughs> so who knows? Wow. You guys suck. You are too strong for a first floor enemy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna even interface with them. It's not worth the damage to to us. That could be dangerous. Now oh, we're good. Lava potion. Sure. Well, we found a very, very much nothing coming through here. We've got a couple of health pickups, so I really can't complain that much. But wow, this has been very, very shallow. All right, move on. Entered Holy Mountain. Have you got any cheap wands? They do have a cheap wand. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I actually probably would have bought that anyway. Huh. I mean, it's incredible visually. Uh, the mana recharge speed on it is complete dog shit. Ten. Ten. Uh. Lowest cast time. That's really funny. I think that's a bit more sustainable. I mean, it, it is inarguably better than what we had. Those all... Oh, those have a lower cast delay. That's why it casts those so bloody fast. 
How many of those can we put on before it becomes silly? Without, it would need so long to recharge. I'm not sure that's worth it. Fucking nice. Oh, fucking nice. Perk lottery extra perk combo is high tier. Unbelievably high tier. This is the run. I thought that last death was a curse. It is a blessing. The air is filled with fungal spores. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. What the fuck? They're also really, really difficult to hit. Please kill them. Wow, they are fucking horrible. Get back. Horrible. Mainly because of the thought of all that bloody gold they dropped disappearing. This one has potential. All we have to find is an ad mana. And, and like, it's, it's gonna blow up. Those things suck. I hate them. This one is actually, like, real good. Might not come across that way, but it is very nice. Just die. Horrible, shitty creature. This is where playing in a window will get you. Just so incredibly inaccurate. Right, what is in there, then? Is it a wand? I will do anything for a mana upgrade at this point. Because that could be so, so good with this bloody staff. Uh, look, I'll take it. Oh, it's actually not bad either. I don't like the occasional bifurcated shot, but... The damage on it is going to be pretty damn good. What's the damn in damage? Thanks, Noita Wizard. We could have a mushroomy time if you're up for it, but... I know a lot of people aren't up for it. Careful. Blood is not water. Uh, I'm going to empty this out. We're going to find some water. We're going to fill up. It just might take a little while. I can't believe there's no empty potion button. Just like pull the whole thing out. Right, there we are. On we go. Man, I'm, I'm excited to try and get this wand into something doable. Because having always cast... Uh, is it called refresh the the lower cast delay? It seems insanely good. I can't believe it was on sale. Gods didn't know what they were selling. Poor fools. Ah, oh, this is hell. Okay, I don't want to be in here. Someone stole a wand from there, by the looks of it. Maybe. You know, to say that was hell, we actually didn't take that much damage. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Ow. Thank God I poured away all that blood. Okay, you can... Please don't ruin the water, please. I need to pick it up, please, please. Just fuck off. Yeah, that's it. Die. Just die. Okay, so... We go in here. Get the potion out. Fill it up. I don't care if we fill it up with a little bit of the other thing. It's really, really somewhat irrelevant. Okay, let's take a look at this one, then. Any add mana. What is that? Spiral arc. I've never seen that before. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, look, we don't need that. So I'll, I'll, I'll happily throw that. We don't need it. We've got we've got like a dynamite one. Like a good dynamite one. Let's swap this over. Just for muscle memory reasons. Okay, there is something down there. I, I want to head back and get that other gold thing that we saw. Perk lottery extra perk. This could be so good though. This could be the one we've been waiting for. Don't spit your children at me. That's considered a dick move. Ah! They're so tanky. Fuck. Right, let's see if we can fill the potion up with a bit more water. Preferably nothing else. Not that it matters, as long as it puts the fire out, that's all that's... That's all that's key. 62 health remaining. Bomb that. And you give me one of these. Oh, it's lightning. Ah. <laughs> don't take it. For your own good, don't take it. As fun as lightning is. It is danger time, isn't it? It's too much danger time. 
These fucking things again. Get out! I assume these enemies just spawn in the fungal caverns, but in this situation, because there's fungal everything. They're still alive. I actually can't believe that. Are you, are you still alive? It looks as if they're taking damage. There you go. Let's go this way. I've always said this way is the best way. Ow! <laughs> Treasure chest. Ah. Oh. Hello. Ah. Oh. Gold. Did you find very little gold this entire run? You know what? I'm going to get out. We've got perk lottery. We've got the extra perk. We could be getting a lot from this. Let's not gamble it. Uh, no, no. Always cast Earthquake. Yeah, tell another. No, no. All right. What do I want from the start? Uh, saving Grace. Then what do I want? None of them. I don't want any of these. We reroll. Rage Fuel Levitation. Could be quite good. Teleportitis. I think they're all terrible. Okay, good. Rage Fuel Levitation, Saving Grace. That's all right. Uh, it had more potential. Kind of wish I hadn't re-rolled. Right. Okay. So, 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 so. Let's try you. Well, firstly, let's take that off. Just use that as a Magic Bolt wand. Because Magic Bolt seems quite strong anyway. Actually, that does seem quite strong. Uh, What about you with three? That also seems very good. Uh, I'm going to take that off. We don't need multiple lightning bolts. Spells cast six. Fuck. Two, three, four. We're very, very spitable heavy, aren't we? That's like actually unthinkably bad. Save it for the anvil or chuck it? Save it for the anvil. We can always swap it out. I don't like that. I don't like that. No. Always cast earthquake is uh, insta-kill. Ah, uh, firebolt. No, I think we're all right. Well, thank you, Holy Mountain. Let's just test out the damage. Yeah, I mean, our Spitter Bolt is better, which you'd kind of expect, but this has range. So I might use this uh, primary go-to one for a little while. There's a worm. There is a worm. A big worm, too. I think the worm might be over there. Oh, God. It's him. It's the guy that killed us. It's the guy that killed us last time. It was the guy that killed us last time. He's killed us again. What the fuck are those guys? I will not die. I don't even understand. No, I don't even understand. I'm not going to die here. We're just going to leave. I'll just go to Holy Mountain. I don't give a fuck. You think I need you people? You're nothing to me. Yoink. Oh, it's cast and mana. Fuck. It's what we wanted, but it's in the wrong place. Okay. 